Ah, Gordon. Here you are. Half-Life was the first game from Washington-based developer Valve Software, which was founded in 1996 by former Microsoft employees Mike Harrington and Gabe Newell. The team's initial concept for Half-Life was a horror-themed 3D action game, and they licensed the Quake engine from id Software to create it. Valve eventually modified the engine a great deal. A developer stated that 70% of the Quake engine's code was rewritten. At first, Valve had difficulties finding a publisher for their game, many believing their project was too ambitious for a studio's first project. However, Sierra Online was interested interested in making a 3D action game, so they signed Valve for a one-game deal. The original codename for Half-Life was Quiver, after the Arrowhead military base from Stephen King's The Mist, which was early inspiration for the game. Gabe Newell explained in an interview that the name Half-Life was chosen because it was evocative of the game's theme, and had a corresponding visual symbol, the Greek letter Lambda, which represents decay in the Half-Life's equation. The first public appearance of Half-Life came in early 1997, and was a hit at the Electronic Entertainment Expo that year. Half-Life was originally planned to ship in late 1997 to compete with Quake 2, but was postponed when Valve decided the game needed significant revision. In an article in 2003, Gabe Newell discussed the team's early difficulties with level design. In desperation, a single level was assembled, including every weapon, enemy, scripted event, and level design quirk that the designers had come up with so far. As a result, the studio completely reworked the game's artificial intelligence and levels in the year leading up to its release. The release was delayed several times in 1998 before the game was finally released in November of that year. On its release, critics hailed its overall presentation and numerous scripted events. Its gameplay influenced first-person shooters for years to come, and it has since been regarded as one of the greatest games of all time. Half-Life was ported to the PlayStation 2 by Gearbox Software and released in 2001. This version of the game featured improved character models, weapons, and extended levels. It also added a co-op expansion called Half-Life Decay that allowed players to take control of two female scientists named Gina Cross and Coliette Green. Gearbox Software was slated to release a port of Half-Life to the Sega Dreamcast as well. Despite the game only being a few weeks from completion, it was never commercially released. Sierra announced its cancellation, saying it was due to changing market conditions. These changes are presumably the first-party abandonment of the failing Sega Dreamcast. Although it was never officially released, the Dreamcast version was leaked onto the internet and was fully playable. The leak contained the full version of Half-Life and its expansion Blue Shift, but has a somewhat inconsistent frame rate and lengthy loading times. Half-Life Source was developed by Valve and released June 1, 2004. It was a port of the original Half-Life to Half-Life 2's Source engine. As opposed to an actual remake, it is instead a direct copy of the original game. Most of the same assets were used, and the main differences were due to the fundamental features of the new engine, like more detailed lighting and water effects. An actual remake of Half-Life was never made by Valve itself, but instead by fans. Black Mesa, previously known as Black Mesa Source, was a total conversion mod for Half-Life 2 and a remake of the original Half-Life. The ultimate goal of the mod was to recreate the original Half-Life from the ground up using the advanced features of the Source engine. Black Mesa's development began in November 2004 and was born of the discontent fans experienced when playing Half-Life Source. When compared to the environments Valve created with Half-Life 2, the original game fell short of what many thought the Source engine could do. According to the developers, Black Mesa Source was built and founded on the principle that Half-Life Source did not do the original title justice. Due to the popularity of the mod, Valve asked the producers to remove the Source from the title to avoid confusion on whether it was an official Valve product or not. After almost eight years of development, the mod was released on September 14th, 2012. Two expansions were made for the original Half-Life, Half-Life Opposing Force in 1999 and Half-Life Blue Shift in 2001, both developed by Gearbox Software. Opposing Force takes place during Half-Life's original storyline, but from the perspective of a U.S. Marine sent to cover up the incident. It introduced several new weapons, new characters, and new unseen areas of the Black Mesa facility. The expansion is shorter than Half-Life, having only 12 chapters to the original's 19. Blue Shift returns to Half-Life's storyline again, but this time as one of Black Mesa's security guards. Originally developed 
developed as a bonus mission for the cancelled Dreamcast version of Half-Life, Blue Shift came with an optional high-definition pack that updated the look of Half-Life and its expansions. Countless mods have also been created for Half-Life, and development continues to this day. Worldcraft, the level design tool used during Half-Life's development, was included with the game. Half-Life's code has also been released and has been used as a base for many multiplayer mods, such as the immensely popular Counter-Strike. The Half-Life series draws some inspiration from H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds. The Vortigons who appear throughout the series are almost identical to the Mortax aliens from the War of the Worlds TV series. And in the German version of Half-Life, the HEC soldiers were replaced with robot grunts due to censorship. With the robot grunts, their blood was changed to oil, and there were machine part gibbs as well. In addition, blood and other violent parts were removed. The scientists and security guards now sit down and shake their heads rather than dying. That's it for now, guys. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, Culture Shock Network, for more gaming news, facts, and information.